As G7 leaders conclude their three-day summit in Hiroshima, Japan, with the denunciation of China's rising military and economic security threats, U.S. President Joe Biden sought to reassure Beijing that the group does not seek conflict. At the same time, he issued a warning for China not to invade Taiwan. There is clear understanding among most of our allies that, in fact, if China were to act unilaterally, there would be a response. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky made a surprise appearance at the summit, invited by G7 host Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. By inviting President Zelensky to Japan, we demonstrated the unwavering solidarity of the G7 with Ukraine, and the G7 reaffirmed the importance of the free and open international order based on the rule of law. Zelensky met G7 and other invited leaders, including Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has refused to condemn Russia's invasion. Zelensky thanked the G7 for agreeing to provide U.S.-made F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine and for their decision to train Ukrainian pilots to fly them. I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Thanks our partners. It really will help our society, our people to save houses, families. In a sign of warming relations between America's two closest allies in Asia, on the summit sidelines, Biden met with Kishida and President Yoon suk Yeol, the leader of South Korea. They discussed North Korea's nuclear threat and China's rising assertiveness, two regional threats that have aligned the three countries closer. I hope South Korea and Japan will have stronger cooperation on issues on the global agenda like economic security. Biden returned to Washington Sunday to deal with negotiations on raising the U.S. debt ceiling to avoid the country going into default. Pat Siwida Kuswara, VOA News, Hiroshima.